Hi everyone, welcome to Tutorials Point. We shall learn what Java is all about, but before that, let us learn what a programming language is and how we work on it. So, the first slide says that a program is nothing but a set of instructions that needs to be executed by a computer or a processor. So, what a computer understands is a machine language, but what we understand is a human language. And human language may be of English format which consists of words or phrases. So this language that we write in is a high level language which is also called as a source code. But when a computer executes these instructions that are written in English must be of a format of 0 or 1s which is nothing but a binary format called as machine code. So who converts this? There must be some tool or a software or a program which consists of a set of instructions to convert this source code into a machine code. First of all, it's us, it's us the programmers who write this programming language and there are certain programming language like C, C++, Python, etc. So let us see how can you convert this source code into a machine code. The source code can be converted into a machine code with the help of certain tools. Those are interpreter, compiler. So what does this interpreter does is interpreter helps us in interpreting one statement at a time because this executes one statement at a time if there are any error it will throw at the same time it means it prompts with the error at the same time and because it executes one statement at a time the analyze time becomes very fast but the overall execution becomes slow then what does the compiler does Compiler also executes the entire program but how it is different from an interpreter. A compiler first scans the entire program and then execute the program. Here the analyze becomes very slow because it executes the entire program but the overall execution becomes faster. In case of compiler the debugging is harder because the error is thrown only after it scans and executes the program. Whereas in interpreter, the debugging is easy because the error is prompted as it receives an error. But what does a Java does here? A Java is both an interpreted and a compiled language. The Java C compiler first converts the source code into a bytecode. And then this bytecode is nothing but interpreted by whom? So a Java program interprets this bytecode line by line so that the virtual machine understands this. What is a virtual machine? This is a Java virtual machine which we name it as a JVM and this JVM provides us a runtime environment to execute our programs. So in this video we have learned what a program looks like or how you execute a program, what a language does a computer understand how or who or what kind of a program or a tool helps us in converting a source code into a machine code. And now in the going forward videos, we'll learn more about Java.